Group seven is the cutter radius offset group. And the codes that we find in this group are G40, G41, and G42. We'll discuss G40 in just a moment. First, we want to talk about G41 and G42. In machining, we need to appreciate the effect that cutting operations have on not just the material that we are cutting, but also on the cutting tool itself. A cutting tool must always be harder than the material being cut, and that only makes sense, doesn't it? However, just because the cutting tool is harder than the material being cut does not mean that that cutting tool will last forever. Metal cutting metal creates friction. Friction creates wear. Some cutting tools, they can hold up a lot longer while cutting. Optimum feeds and speeds extend the life of a cutting tool. Adversely, improper feeds and speeds will wear out a tool faster. Ultimately, a tool will wear no matter what. However, in many cases, even if the cutting tool wears some, it's still sharp enough to continue being used. When a cutting tool wears, though, what is happening? It is actually becoming smaller in diameter. And this, of course, needs to be addressed. This is the G41 and G42 codes and their meaning. G41 is cutter radius compensation left. G42 is cutter radius compensation right. Notice in our example here that the size of the tool when it is brand new is 0 0.500 inches. But after some time, the tool has worn down and in effect becomes smaller by 0 0.004 inches. The tool is programmed to cut features to a certain size by following a programmed path. If that tool wears but continues to follow its programmed path, all the features that it cuts will be left too big and will have to be cut again. This is where G41 or G42 comes into effect. Can you imagine how much time would be lost changing cutting tools when they're still sharp enough to cut, but they've only wore down a minimal amount? So instead of having to change tools over and over and over again, especially when it is not necessary, we can use G41 or G42 to compensate for the tool diameter so that we can continue using that tool until the tool has outlived its usefulness. G41 is used when the material being cut is on the left side of the tool. And G42 is used when the material being cut is on the right side of the tool. Notice in our example here that the tool is moving along the side of the material. The tool has worn down four thousandths of an inch, and this change in diameter needs to be addressed. Do we compensate with G41 or G42? Well, that all depends on which direction the tool is traveling. If the tool is traveling in this direction, then the material is on the left side of the tool and G41 is used. If the tool is traveling in this direction, then the material is on the right side of the tool and G42 is used. Now let's go back to G40. G40 is activated when compensation is no longer needed. Therefore, G40 is the cancellation code for cutter compensation. <laughs>